It's been a long week. I've got a few cars delivered uh, this week. And last night I uh, went and picked up my uh, Kowalski Challenger. I took it out of storage. So here I am with my dream car. Just finished work and I'm off for a little ride. Or should I say a little cruise? Well, let's go for a ride. Enjoy the ride, you guys. Well, it's refreshing, let me tell you. Get out of the shop, working all week, many hours, long hours, six days a week. And I just got my uh, Challenger out. Had it for a long storage, taking it out last night. And uh, I wanna take it for a ride. This is what you call a relaxing ride. So you guys, if you wanna, what should I say, join us for the ride. Yeah, let's go for a cruise. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is relaxing. You know, when you've been working all day, and then you say, you know what? You want to relax your nerves or whatever. This is one way to do it. You get into your dream car and take a cruise. Yes, this is awesome. Well, let's go for a little ride, you guys. And here we go. After all, it's been a long week. Been working in a in the shop all week. So I'm happy I've delivered a few cars because yeah, you know, every time I deliver one, I got another one comes in. So it's all good. It's all good. This is Auto Route 440 right here. And the most common engine I work with in my shop is a 440. What better number can you ask for? Right beside my shop. Nick built this incredible, perfect 1970 Challenger with a 440 because of a movie he saw way back in 1971. Vanishing Point starred Barry Newman and featured a four-speed white Challenger, just like this one. We're gonna take a drive down in the uh, part of Laval here, in the upper side of uh, Laval. I just hope it doesn't rain. I see some clouds out there. But you know what? I doubt it very much. But I'm going to take the drive anyways. I want you viewers to enjoy the ride with me. So we'll take a little ride. And uh, let's have some good time. Oh, it feels great, let me tell you. Now, this is a car that you drive. You know, this is not a my 2015 Hellcat Challenger that tells you uh, when to uh, change the oil or it beeps when you're going too fast. The Hellcat tells you when to put on the seatbelt. It's telling you when to do an oil change. Uh, it's got ABS brakes for safety. You know, all the uh, safety features you want. Airbags, ABS brakes. But this car has none of the above. It's got seatbelts and that's about it. It's got no ABS, uh, no ABS, no airbags. So anyways, but then again, this car came with front drum brakes and, and I installed front disc brakes. I also installed power brakes, power brake booster. So I added some safety features. It's all good. Well, let's go for a ride. Actually, you know, when I finished building this car last year, I just took it for one tour to make a video with uh, my video man and then uh, the day after I put it for storage. So here it is after a long winter, I've taken it out of storage last night and here I am taking it for the first ride this year. And it's too bad we can't go to any, uh, any car shows or any car meets because uh, this coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, it's uh, hit us hard here in 2020 and uh, we cannot do nothing about it. We have to do social distance, we gotta wear masks. A lot of the shows have been canceled. The border between USA and Canada is closed. So what do we got? 
what you see here. Take my car out for a simple ride. And here we go. This is cool, man, this is cool. You know, it's too bad I can't meet uh, Barry Newman. I'd like to take him for a ride, have him sign my car anywhere, I don't care. And by the way, I'll even uh, hand him the keys and let him drive it, let him have a joyride. You know, there's a lot of people that build uh, these uh, replicas of uh, Vanishy Point. The uh, first uh, video, which is the first film, I should say filmed in 1970 with Barry Newman. And uh, I would have loved to meet him. Take the car to him, take him for a ride, let him drive it, whatever he wishes. I would sure love that, but I have no contact with him. If anybody knows any way I can find him, I'd love to meet him and take him for a ride. And you know that, like I was saying before, a lot of replicas have been built as vanishing point, but this one I've gone a little bit to the extreme. It's a U-code four-speed car right from the factory. And here it is, the only thing I've done to it is uh, made it uh, alpine white from its original color F8 green. But it doesn't matter, it is what it is. This is a 1970 Challenger four-speed 440 Magnum with a Dana axle, Dana 60 I should say. Now how much better can you get? Maybe I should say you can't get better than that. This is very rare to find a 70 Challenger, a Alpine White with a four speed, 440, with a Dana 60. It's a rare car. Look at this. I just finished building this car. There's no rattles, no shakes, no noises, no squeaks, nothing whatsoever. And when I put this car together, I make sure every screw tightens up. I want to make sure every retainer is there, every clip. Everything one of them is tight. If there's anything I hate is noises, rattles, squeaks. Shift's good. Here we are, we're in third gear right now. Pistol grip. What more can you ask for? This is one joy ride, let me tell you. I could drive all night long. Just look at that pistol grip, man. Don't you just love it? Look at it. No rattles, no shakes, no vibrations, nothing whatsoever. Look at it. Look at that. Like a brand new car, man. A brand new car. All my gauges work. RPM, speedometer, gauges, clock. Beautiful, just beautiful.
I just can't wait to build my uh, original Matsy motor or uh, my original 440 the production of this car. I want to start building it, but I got a few jobs in the shop and I want to get done uh, with my client's cars first. Customers come first, of course. I took a year to build this one last year, so this is done. Now I got the freedom to work on my client's cars. And for me, that's what counts. So this car right now, I just have it in the shop, let people come and watch it, enjoy it, ask me questions about it, whatever they wish. I've got my 10-year-old uh, polyglass tires on. So far, so good. I checked them out. They have no cracks. They're probably uh, uh, past the uh, life expectancy on the tires, but it doesn't matter. I'm just driving it easy. So far, uh, it rides smooth. So I've got, uh, I'm gonna drive it close. I mean, I'm gonna drive it safe. I'm not worried about it. So anyways, we're just uh, cruising with it. And uh, let's enjoy the ride. got some clouds I hope it doesn't rain but uh, you know what it looks pretty good it's not gonna rain to me I see some clouds above us but you know what they said no rain in the forecast so we're in good hands one thing I don't want to do is get this car wet in the rain after all this car is very well detailed you know I don't mind getting dust on it but I sure don't want to get it wet in the rain so let's try to keep it clean Didn't rain after all. That's good. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride with uh, with my uh, cruise. Like I was telling you earlier, I want to take you viewers for a ride. This is it. This is the Kowalski Charles we've been working on for a year. You know, it's been a long winter. I finally got out of storage, and uh, let me tell you, after such a long time, I sure want to drive it, and here I am driving it. This is it, driving your dream car in the freedom. Beautiful, just beautiful. I got my car running, I'm glad. So, who knows when this coronavirus is gonna be over. In the meantime, I'll just keep cruising with my uh, dream car, the Challenger. You guys, if you look down below the video, we have a whole bunch of merchandise that you guys can buy. So whatever you like, buy it, love it, wear it, and enjoy it. And help spread the word of Nick's Garage. And if you have some time, check out our Patreon page. We have extra content and you guys can watch it and take it from there. And we'll see you next time.